Hey guys, Ridiculous Badger coming at you from Planet 545. Let's take a look at Bullet. So, Bullet is super duper popular these days. Super popular. And he's a ton of fun to play. One of the things, what I love about playing Bullet is that I can always send my full march at people in Galactic Battle and I never get yelled at because I'm using rangers. I'm all the time using rangers. I have a ton of rangers. Never stop building rangers. And you can always chuck your bullet at something. And, you know, just be ready to heal him. As long as you're ready to heal him, you're pretty much golden. Also, his gear set is super easy to understand. I see a lot of people asking, hey, what's the best thing to run with him? Or, I, I also see people running some weird things on Bullet, and I kind of wonder, like, well, why are you doing that? Bullet is super easy. All he cares about is accuracy. It's all he cares about. Because his skill, his main skill of Ghost Cannon, it, it only references the amount of units that you have in the slot. HP has zero impact on it. No impact whatsoever. Try it. Put some HP gear on the guy. Throw him at a thing. Take note of ghost cannon damage. Take HP gear off of him. Throw him at the thing again. Take note of, a of ghost cannon damage. It's the same. It's exactly the same. So, also, what's great about Bullet is you really only need one skill for him. You just gotta pump up Ghost Cannon. And most of the time, you're gonna be throwing Rangers against high tier. So, Mino, Mino, Mino Particle, it doesn't matter. This lowers enemy accuracy. But as long as you're sending those Rangers against T3 and up, the enemy units are gonna hit your Rangers every time due to the base suppression mechanic. So Mino Particle only matters in a case when you're sending Rangers against Rangers, basically. Alright, that's a thing. And the same with Awakening. You're gonna be sending this bullet with his Rangers against much higher tier enemy. There's a good chance that they're gonna have tier suppression. Your Awakening damage, it might be zeroed out. And if it's not, it's going to be based on pitiful ranger attack. And you're just going to do very small, minute amounts of damage. Which is not the case for Ghost Cannon, because the, it's not based on attack at all. It's not based on HP. It's not based on stats. It's based on how many units are in the slot. So, both of... It's the only skill that matters. These don't. They just... They don't. So coming up, what we'll do is take a look at some bullet gear.